Welcome to this week's Simon. I'm Swati. And I'm Jacques of the Scientific Affairs team here at Illumina. Did you know you can smell with your eyes? You're, you're just making that up. Oh, really? Um, <laughs> your eyes have GPCRs or G protein coupled receptors that may play a role in chemical sensing. The Illumina Human Body Map 2.0 data shows GPCRs are not only expressed in the tongue and the nose, but are also expressed in places like the lungs, um, the gut, and the sperm. Over 40% of drugs on the market uh, target GPCRs, so it's very important that we study these proteins. In a quest to understand how our eyes interact with our environment, Pronin et al. study RNA expression in the eyes. RNA was collected from mouse cornea and sequenced. Their expression analysis revealed a total of 96 olfactory receptors. Didn't they also use a real-time PCR to validate their data? Yeah, and it's nice to see that they could validate the expression of these olfactory receptors. The ultimate question is, why would Mother Nature put these receptors in the eyes? Absolutely. The eyes are a part of the brain that looks out into the world. And it is possible that olfactory receptors are used to protect the eyes and from infection and to maintain homeostasis. Now, the surface of the eye is continuously exposed to tear components, xenobiotics, microorganisms, and their metabolites. There are many genes assigned to the olfactory family other than GPCRs. EMX2 is a transcription factor that controls many of the olfactory genes, and it is also expressed in the cornea. Fewer than 100 of the approximately known 1,100 mouse OLFRs are known to play a role in sensing smell. The other approximately 1,000 members were assigned to the olfactory gene family based on sequence homology. While many of them may be involved in chemical sensing, it is possible that they might play completely different roles. Because why else would you have genes that sense smell expressed in places like the heart, kidney, and skeletal muscle? The Illumina human body map data and sequencing has given us new insights into these GPCRs. Research has unveiled some very fascinating facts about the relationship of olfactory genes and eyes. That's all for today. What topics would you like us to cover in future shows? Leave a comment below. And do subscribe to our channel and please be sure to pass along this exciting research. Until next time, bye. Bye.